Boop, boop. Hey everyone, this is John over at Famous Smoke Shop and Cigar Advisor, and I'm here once again answering your fan mail. Now I got a message on Facebook the other day from Tyrone, and he wanted to know, very simple question, what is the purpose of the binder of a cigar? And I think this is a great question. Whenever we look at a blend on a cigar, we always typically look at what the filler tobaccos are, if there's any Lajero, Seco, Viso, whatever is in the, the filler, if it's long filler or short filler. We always pay attention to the wrapper as if that's like the end all be all of the cigar. So if it's a Habano wrapper, it's gonna taste exactly like this, or if it's a Maduro wrapper, it's gonna taste exactly like that. But the binder is the one part of the cigar that always gets the least amount of attention. And for whatever reason, I think that's an absolute travesty. So Tyrone, thank you so much for asking this question so I can kind of put it to rest. I'm gonna start out by showing you the internal workings of a cigar and show you exactly what the binder is. So let's take a look, and trust me, no good cigars were harmed in the making of this video. All right, now as you'll see, I'm gonna be cutting through the wrapper, which is right on the surface. So as I cut down, the wrapper easily breaks along that seam that I'm creating. When I remove the wrapper, this is extremely thin, very brittle tobacco, so I'm just gonna leave that over here. But on the inside of that, you have this beautiful leaf right here, which is the binder. And what that is, is a bunch of uh, clumped up tobacco leaves that are rolled in a, a kind of like a, a smooth surface to make sure that there's no bumps on this wrapper leaf. As we go a little bit further into the cigar and take the wrapper or the binder off, you get into the long filler. So as you'll see, the long filler is a little bit more bumpy, is a little bit more veiny. So as you can imagine, if you put a wrapper right over that internal long filler tobacco, the wrapper is gonna be a little bit bumpy. It's gonna have a little bit of uh, soft spots throughout the cigar. So the burn is gonna be a little uneven. So when you put this binder over the long filler tobacco and create this smooth surface, you're creating kind of a, more of an airtight seal around the wrapper and the long filler, which gives you a better burn. Similarly, when you, when you look at the long filler tobacco again, you're seeing that all the flavor or all the, the long filler tobacco is being burnt in a vertical line going that way, going along the tobacco. Once again, because this is more clumped up, because this is more compact, it slows everything down in the cigar. So once again, you're getting a slower burn which can draw a little bit more flavor out of the cigar. And while we're on the issue of flavor, the binder can hold a treasure trove of different and hidden flavors that you may not even know was in the binder. Once again, we all focus on the filler and the wrapper as components of the cigar that give all the flavor while we ignore the binder. Now typically the binder is made from lower quality tobaccos and it is just so it can stabilize the cigar a little bit as, as you smoke along it. But with really high end, really high quality cigars, they actually pick some of the, the top tier tobaccos that they can find. I mean, we're talking wrapper quality tobaccos and they bundle them together to make a binder to really amp up the flavor and complexity of the cigar. So whenever you're smoking a really high end cigar, chances are a lot of that flavor is gonna be coming from all three components of the cigar rather than just the filler and the wrapper. So Tyrone, I hope that answers your question on what the usefulness of a binder in a cigar actually is.